Hey there friends, it is me HL Mod Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to sign up for Fusion 360 if you are a student or an educator and have a chance to get a free account because why not when you can get free that's always a good gig. So let's get cracking. So first things first, I am using my pop voice microphone because uh, I am on the road so we'll see how that works. And then I have an Autodesk account because I use Tinkercad. I can simply hit next and sign in. If not, you could do that new to get yours. I need to fill in my profile as an educator. It actually knows that there's a West Ottawa High School campus. But of course, I work at the middle school, so I just typed in Harbor Lights, and lo and behold, I exist there as well. I teach modular technology. You would, of course, enter yours. We do product design and manufacturing. And then I'm using mine for personal use. I will not have this installed in my classroom at this point. Maybe someday in the future I will. Boom. Just like that, I am set up and ready to download and install it. Let's click Get Access and see where that takes us. Simple. Download the software. It opens the download that we've all seen with all our other tools. I'm going to put mine in my download folder and save it. The installer is a tiny app that you must open so that it can download the rest and install it. After a moment, the Fusion 360 setup starts, and then we just have to wait for it to be ready to use. All right, I've been doing other things as I wait, but I'm only at 80%, so we'll see how long this actually takes. Could be my slow Wi-Fi at the hotel, or it could just be a huge program. All right, so when it gets to the end, you do need to sign in which isn't difficult because we already did that a few minutes ago. And here's what it looks like when Fusion starts launching. Chance to hit continue. And then let's maximize our area. I do like millimeters. I'm going to say that I have used Tinkercad. I'm going to make this super quick today. Let's just draw a rectangle. Click and then click again to make it complete. If you right click, you can rotate it. Let's test out the extrude. Click to select it. And then you simply lift the little handle up to pick out how you want it to be. Then right click rotate to check out your new cube. Real quick, I'm going to note the view cube over here so you can look at it from different angles. This is what it looks like from the back. So I've created a shape that's taller than it is wide. Uh, this is where save is, and I'm going to just save this one as test because I'm just getting us into it for the first time. And you can look forward to a brand new project for me when I actually teach you how to do something at a later date. So hey friends, it really didn't give you much except how to get your account, but if you found it useful, hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know this brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.